is John R. Cook, Sr., one of two posthumous members of our PNP Hall of Fame, Class of 2015. Mr. Cook built one of the largest pest management companies in the country, based on honesty, courtesy, respect, and customer satisfaction. His tradition of industry excellence made him a popular selection for induction into the PNP Hall of Fame. Here's a brief look at his life, accomplishments, and contributions to the industry. John Cook Sr. was born in 1925 in Athens, Alabama. He graduated with a degree in architecture in 1950 and was pointed in that career direction until the death of his father, John L. Cook, changed his plans. Compelled to fulfill his father's contracted five-year termite guarantees, Cook and his wife, Jo, returned home to Decatur, Alabama. Before long, he was adding pest control service to the company his father started and changed the name from North Alabama Termite Company to Cook's Pest Control. Since it was founded in 1928, Cook's Pest Control has grown from a small business with one full-time employee and a handful of accounts to one of the nation's largest pest management companies. Cook was the first in his family to attend college, which helped him build the family business when the time came. As such, training and education were especially important to him. Likewise, his architectural training informed his attention to detail which benefited him while expanding a pest management business in the 1950s. In the 1960s, he and his wife Jo were the driving force behind creating the Cookie the Cop mascot and a catchy jingle that remains a well-recognized tune throughout the Southeast. While building the business, Cook stressed honesty, courtesy, respect, and customer satisfaction. Throughout his storied life, Cook enlisted in the United States Navy and served in the South Pacific during World War II, served as president of the Alabama Pest Control Association and the National Pest Control Association, now the National Pest Management Association. In 2001, the National Pest Management Association presented him with the President's Pinnacle Award. That same year, Cook's Pest Control won the Better Business Bureau's National Torch Award for Marketplace Ethics. According to Brian Cook, Cook's grandson and the chief administration officer of Cook's Pest Control, his grandfather worked all the way up until a month before his death of pancreatic cancer in February 2009. His family continues to extend John Cook Sr.'s legacy into the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, accepting on behalf of his grandfather, we give you Brian Cook. Receive this award on behalf of my grandfather. Um, it uh, it would have really meant a lot to him, and it means a lot to, to my family and myself and our, all of our employees. Um, you know, you think about him every day, and uh, you know he was he was truly the, the the greatest personal example of living out his faith. That you know the the greatest. Commandment is to love God, and the second is to, to uh, love people. And he, he lived that out every day. And I think about uh, this industry, and we, we were talking earlier, uh, you know, he actually had to have surgery on his, uh, on his wrist or his elbow uh, after uh, being MPMA president. Uh, he, he made so many phone calls uh, to, to get new members uh, during the drive. He took the leadership on that, that he actually had to have surgery. Um, he was such a hard worker. He believed in what he was doing because he was doing work that mattered. Um, you know, we talk about in the industry, we, 
and you protect health and property. And he said, what, how many industries out there can you say actually do both? And uh, you know, we're in a really, really special, important industry. And he actually came up with that phrase uh, many years ago in the uh, National Association asked if they could they could um, to, could borrow that and use that phrase protect health and property, and so uh, he 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 went through life with open hands with what he had, um, and so just just you know with that it was it was you know how can I serve how can I help if it's of help to you I'll I'll do that and so uh, he he was a great um, example uh, there for us and he was a creative visionary he was a goal setter. And uh, one thing that set him apart from a lot of entrepreneurs is that he he surrounded himself with good people, and he, and he really did empower them and trust them to 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 uh, take the business and, and run with it. And so, you know, I'm thankful he was able to see me, uh, you know, learning from an early age and then actively involved in the business before he passed away. And uh, uh, like I said, I think about him every day. And uh, uh, when, I, when I did the eulogy at his funeral, I had, I had the privilege of, of, of sharing some stories and, uh, you know, people came up to me and they said, you know, you have, you have large shoes to fill. And I said, well, thankfully, I don't have to fill them. I just follow in his footsteps. He showed us the way and uh, we just uh, continue on in that same vein. And so, uh, very honored and privileged to do so. And so accepting this award tonight on his behalf, you know, really, uh, means the world to us and so thank you so much.